Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal purple fluorite. Now when it comes to fluorite, you may be most familiar with rainbow fluorite. You know, a stone like this where you get the different bands of colours, you can get greens and purples as well as sometimes yellows and blues and pinks. But you can find it just in single colours. And here's an example here. Here is my purple fluorite. If I hold that nice up close, hopefully you can see some of the squares and how that's kind of grown. Now you can get it in a light purple or a dark purple, but those squares, those are the key indicator of what we use fluorites for. Think about when you're cleaning up your bedroom wardrobe or your kitchen cupboard, we like to get everything neat and tidy and even put it in boxes. And that's exactly what fluorite helps us to do. It helps us to get our life in order, whether it be our mind or our thoughts or our heart or different things like that. And when it comes to the colour, that's going to give you the key indication of which area of life it's going to work with. So when we look at violet or purple, what are we thinking of? We're thinking of the crown chakra and spirituality. And that's exactly what purple fluorite helps you to do. It helps you get your spiritual life in order. So in this video, I'm going to explore all different ways that you can work with your purple fluorite to get your act together and get your spirituality going the way it should be. Now, do you tend to be a little bit indecisive? Well, purple fluorite could be really good for you to work with. What it helps you do is it helps you to be more decisive and know what you want, but to decide what's going to be in line with your soul purpose. It's going to connect with that crown chakra and really help you to go, right, what feels right to my soul? And so it's really good for making sure that you don't just go for instant gratification. You're looking at something that's going to really nourish you over the long term. Now, just by wearing it or carrying it or meditating with it can really help you to make those decisions that are going to serve your soul better. But there is a little practice or a little bit of magic you can do as well. If you're trying to make a decision between two or more options, get a table, a freestanding table with no walls around it, and put some purple fluorite in the middle. Then what you want to do is you want to write each of the options on a small piece of paper and put them near the purple fluorite. Now you want a bit of wind going through, whether you've got a window or a door open or something like that. You just leave the decisions there, and whichever one stays on the table for the longest is the best one that you should go for. So whether you want to just wear your fluorite and work with it that way, or do something a little bit magical like that, either way, purple fluorite will help you decide which is the best path to take. Purple fluorite is a great crystal to help you get every aspect of your spirituality in order. In China, they use purple fluorite to ward off evil spirits. So if, not, if something's not feeling right at home or in a workspace, or even if you do healings and you want to keep that place nice and balanced and how it should be, try gritting pieces of purple fluorite around on the four corners of that space. Another thing you can use it for is it's really good for allowing people that work in the spiritual industry, whether you're a healer or a reader or something like that, to understand that in order for you to be effective in the long run and serve your soul and the souls of other people, you need to be financially viable. I know so many healers that feel that they've got a gift from spirit and thus they have to give away something for free. And what happens is there's a lack of exchange in that way. What ends up happening is we have these amazing healers and amazing healers that go, oh, no, 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 I'm not worth the money. Just give me $5 or $20 or something. But at the end of the day, they can't pay the rent. They can't buy good food to nurture their body so that they can give the best the next day. They're so worried about how they're going to pay their bills that they can't be totally of service. So if you have problems giving and taking equally and allowing fair exchange for your beautiful services that you give anywhere in the spiritual realm, then purple fluorite is going to be a really good one for you to wear. I'd love you to wear it each day and when you're setting your prices, really decide what you're worth and make sure that you ask for that and don't make concessions just because of your low self-worth or you don't believe you're well enough. You need to be at your best, you need your cup overflowing so you can give to other people and Purple Fluorite will help you to do that. Now not so much to do with spirituality but another little side note that I will tell you about Purple Fluorite is if you tend to be a bit oversensitive to touch, this has got a reputation for helping you not be too jumpy or that type of thing. Maybe you don't like being touched but you've got to go for a medical exam or something like that. Then purple fluorite again is your friend. Keep a piece in your pocket, hold it in your hand or wear a piece of jewellery and that will allow you to desensitise a bit and allow the professional to do what they need to do to help you with your overall well-being. Purple fluorite obviously is really great for the crown chakra and it's really good when the crown chakra is overactive. Now how do you know if your crown chakra is overactive? You can grab a pendulum, ask it to show you what a normal um, 
chakra looks like and then say show me the energy of this chakra and if it overswings then it must be overactive but you can also tell by the way the person behaves you know you've probably met these people at a crystal shop or a new age fair they're the people that come up to you and go i just need to let you know that archangel raphael said you need to drink more water I need to sit down now, I'm having a download. They're totally off with the fairies. They forget to eat and pay the bills and pick up the kids from school. And what we need to do is we need to bring that back into, into balance so they're able to bring those spiritual gifts that they may have, but apply them to the physical world. We need to settle down some of the energy in the crown chakra. And purple fluorite is really great for that. Now you can either meditate, if you know that you've got an overactive crown chakra, meditate with the fluorite on your head and visualize a soft violet kind of soothing and bringing that chakra back into balance and then wearing it throughout the day will also help to keep that energy center really balanced as well so we may although we're always focusing on trying to expand and open these crown chakras and third eye chakras sometimes we go too far and we need to bring that back into balance remembering that we're physical beings having a physical experience and we need to make sure we're in touch with the physical as well as the spiritual When you're ready to work with purple fluorite, it's really great to cleanse it, to bring it back to its natural balance. Now, because this helps to get your spiritual life in order, it's really nice with cleansing it under the full moon. So leave it outside somewhere beautiful in nature where it's gonna be safe. Just make sure that it's not gonna to get too wet because it's a bit of a soft crystal and you don't want it to actually start to dissolve or lose its color in that way. When you're working with your crystals, if you can bring in other things from nature as well, that'll really enhance what you're doing. Now, I love to work with different essential oils, and the one that works really well, I often say with rainbow fluorite, as well as purple fluorite, is basil. Now, basil helps to put a scorpion in the mind. It helps us to focus and see what's happening right before us. And so this can be a really beautiful oil to work with in harmony with purple fluorite. You can also call upon different animal guides, because animals teach us different ways to thrive in this world. With many fluorites, I love to call upon skunk. Now skunk, smelly old skunk, why would we call on him? Well, he's known for his scent and that is exactly where his power is. Skunk knows who to attract and will attract a mate with his smell, but also if he doesn't want you around, he will repel you with that. He's very clear on what he wants and what he doesn't want. But you can also work with hippopotamus. What do we know about hippopotamus? Spends a lot of time in the water. Water is the emotional realm, but very grounded in that. And so a lot of the time, our emotions can have us kind of wish-washy wish in our lives and not sure where we're going and what is our spiritual path. If you need to get your thoughts in order, work with purple fluorite and hippopotamus and ask to feel grounded and strong and empowered using our emotions as a guidance system rather than running us all the time. When it comes to astrology, purple fluorite works really well with Saturn. Saturn is all about order and structure and self-discipline. And so the power day, the most powerful day of the week to work with your purple fluorite is going to be Saturday. Now, have you worked with purple fluorite or some of the other shades of fluorite? Please share with our crystal community and leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.